Hi everyone, welcome to day 38 of my 50 days SQL challenge series where I solve data analyst and business analyst interview question for SQL. Today we'll be solving one of the most asked data analyst interview question. So let's see the question. Write an SQL query to retrieve the employee details from each department who have a higher salary greater than the average salary in their department. Now let's see the data that we have in the table which is basically the employee number, employee name, job name, manager's ID, hire date, salary and the department. So these are the columns that we need basically this employee name and then basically we need this salary column and this department column so basically we need to find out each employee who has a salary which is greater than the average salary in their department now by running this query i'm getting all the employee details which is totally fine okay now let's just go ahead and select few columns that i need to work you know so i'm going to select that employee name imp name and i need basically the salary okay and other than that uh, i need basically the department okay so department these are the three things i need to solve this question so i'm going to select this uh, three columns now what we need to basically find out for this employee whatever their department what is the average salary for the department so for example let's find out the, what is the average salary for it so how you are going to do it so i'm going to basically select that select then average salary okay from from this employee table okay so i can use simply where conditions here where basically this department equals it right so this is going to basically return me the salary of a department which is it so i'll just close it from here now for the it department we can see the salary is 2593 we can also check for marketing okay so marketing let's see marketing salary is basically 2432 so we can also see hr what is the salary for hr now for hr it is 1868 so what we need basically here if in case i add a logic here okay if i because i need all the employee and their basically salary which is greater than this average salary isn't it so basically i can use a where conditions here here i can go ahead and say where the salary this column basically this a salary column let me just print it for you so you can see all this employee their salary and their department so i'm saying where salary is basically greater than now here i need to tell basically whatever this employee the first record whatever the record i'm going to get basically whatever that employee belongs in that department if the salary is basically greater than only return me this record basically it's basically all this one row isn't it is going to one row so for that row for example if we are getting this employee we need to first go to this id department and check what is the average salary and now if this salary is greater than that average salary then only I need this record. Now here I can use a sub query. Okay, now I can go ahead and check the average salary for this employee, whatever the employee is this one. Okay, now what I can do is basically I can go ahead and say average. Now average on what is basically salary. Now let's just make it my next line. So from, from basically this employee table. Now here are some basically things that we need to do. So this table I'm going to call it basically E1. And this table I'm going to call it basically call as E2 okay so they both are same table i'm just giving some alias okay now all this information i'm getting which is basically from this table so i'm going to call it basically e1 okay and i'm also going to call it basically e1 now i'm also going to call it call e1 so till now it's very simple simple aliases which i have used here now here what is is going to happen is going to select average salary from the employee 2 now here is the logic which basically you know make this questions basically unique so here I'm saying where this department now here I'll be using this query basically okay the query basically tells department like a specific department okay now HR marketing IT whatever the department is so here I'm going to say where this department okay where this e2 dot department equals e1 dot department so this is going to basically kind of you know make it little tweet let's see what it is happening okay so i'm saying select average salary from this table which is e2 fine till now here basis is going to select simple the average salary the whole average salary but i'm adding a where conditions and i'm saying that okay this where this e2 department so this table for this table the department equals to what now the department equals to e1 department now what is this e1 department now e1 department is basically a specific employee which is coming from outside now basically this query and this query are related for each record that it is going to fetch from basically this employee table for fetching each record it is going to come this basically sub query 
and it's going to basically print the department name here basically it could be for if that employee belongs to IT it's going to get the IT here if that employee belongs to marketing it's going to get the marketing here whatever this basically column belongs like see this column is coming here isn't it now to complete this query okay this query will need this records now this record is coming from outside okay because that's all that's where it is going to get the average salary for this employee department because every employee every record has a different department now for a different department we need to basically check the average salary every time so like every record that it prints we need to find this average salary right now this is going to basically solve the questions now let's just run this query and let's see if it's working or not now let's see this record now let's see this is printing king so king has a basically salary which is fifty thousand. Now earlier we have checked for the IT, I think it was 28 something. Let's just quickly check what is the IT salary. We can just quickly verify it. Okay. Now for the IT salary is 2593. Okay, so here we are getting 2593. Okay, this is fine. It was I think 1800 something. Okay. Now let's just verify it. Let's just run it again and I will explain it again so that you need to understand this concept. It's very important. So here you can see King has a salary which is basically greater than the IT department salary. Now you can see the IT department average salary is basically how much 2593. Now why we are getting King basically King has a department which is IT. King salary is greater than the IT average salary that's the reason we are getting King right. Now let's see the uh, this one Black. So Black has a salary which is 2850. So HR department salary is basically 1850 which is the average salary. So that's the reason we are getting this one. Now you can see for all this employee like this one as well also all this employee we are getting only those employee who has the salary which is greater than the, their department average salary only we are getting those employee right so let's just understand the concept one more time just forget about the outer query now what if, what will happen if in case i run this query okay now here what i'm saying select average salary from the employee table forget about e2 okay so i'm saying select average salary simple query it's going to select the average salary but i have added a conditions so the condition is going to say that okay select every salary for a specific department i'm saying the department equals now here i need to give a department name like it marketing or hr whatever it is now here i'm saying okay the department get the department from this this outer query now to get the department which is from outer query how because e1 is coming from outer table isn't it from this table now it will go outside and it's going to check the employee name no it's not the one employee salary no this is the one employee department now for example for the first employee let's say if the department is IT it's going to return IT here okay it's going to return IT now now what will happen now till the time till that time this one row is not printed okay now it return IT here now it's going to basically check the average salary for IT and it's going to return basically something like 2593 now this basically sub query is basically completed for only one employee okay now we have something called basically 28 uh, this one 2593 for force employee now if the force employee salary is 25 which is this one 2593 which is greater than 2593 then only it's going to basically return that if it is not then it's going to basically skip that employee and it's going to basically check the second employee now for the second employee again same thing will happen now if the second employee is coming from hr so it's going to basically return hr here and then it's going to check the average salary and that employee salary this is how it is working which is behind the scene this is the reason it is called co-related sub query okay that's it for this video guys thank you so much for watching the video till the end now i have a quick uh, challenge for you so the challenge is going to be very simple find the employee who has less than average salary across the company so whatever the average salary for the company find all those employee who has basically less than the average salary you can write down your query in the comment box and you can download this data by going into video descriptions clicking my github link and copy paste the data into your code editor and then you can draw, click this run button that's how you're going to create the table and you can basically solve this question thank you so much for watching the video till the end if you really like my content do subscribe to my youtube channel have a good day